Namaste, dear yogis, and welcome to this restorative yoga class for beginners. For this deeply relaxing yoga practice, I suggest that you go ahead and grab all the props that you have available at home. So just improvise, use what you have. Folded blankets, towels, a strap, a scarf, a hand towel, yoga blocks or firm couch cushions, pillows. Keep them close by and then slowly come to a lying down position. We'll be starting lying down on our backs. So use your folded blanket or towel to support your head and neck. And then very slowly and mindfully lie down on your back. So always make sure that you feel supported so your body can relax. Then keep your left knee up, plant your left foot into the ground and gently begin to hug your right knee into your chest for half wind relieving pose. Just take a moment to settle in. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and a calming breath out through your nose. Feel your back on the ground. And feel free to lengthen out your left leg. So remember, the most important thing is that you listen to your body at all times. And in restorative yoga, it's all about relaxing and opening up to the poses. The props are there to help support you, to help you open up and find deep relaxation. Take two more deep cleansing breaths in through your nose, slow breath out. For hand to foot pose, grab your strap or scarf or hand towel and loop it around your right foot. Extend your right leg, flex your right foot. Keep your right knee bent. And you can keep your left leg lengthened out on the ground or bring your left knee up, plant your left foot on the ground. So check with yourself how it feels. We're not gonna go for deep stretches. This is a very gentle, very relaxing practice. And then once you have your version of the hand to foot pose, just hold it there. Make sure that you can, even though your arms, your hands are holding up the strap or the scarf to hold up your right foot, make sure that you're using your energy very economically. So rest your elbows on the ground or make it work for you. And continue to breathe will be in every pose for about a minute to two minutes. When you feel your body is opening up a little bit more, feel free to lengthen out your left leg if that feels good. And whenever you feel that the stretch becomes a little too intense, just hold back a little bit, back it up a little bit. And remember to breathe. Allow your breath to flow naturally. Allow yourself to slow down Slow down your breathing, your thoughts. Allow yourself to surrender and find deep relaxation. Then take your final breath. And all we're going to do is cross your right leg over towards your left side. So you're keeping your right leg up. Just move it over towards your left. Adjust your hands and arms. Keep holding your strap, your scarf or hand towel. 
So remember, don't go too far. Notice where you feel a little bit of sensation and allow yourself to open up. Find deep relaxation. And also allow yourself to feel held and supported. There's no effort. Take one final breath. Then slowly as you inhale, bring your right leg back to center, up in the sky, and then slowly towards your right side. Remember to move slowly and mindfully. Gravity might pull your right leg down, so just be mindful of that. And you can always place a cushion or a block under your right thigh for support. So again, you might have to adjust your hands and your arms, but we won't be here for too long. Take five deep breaths. Then very slowly and mindfully bring your right leg back to center and then release a strap, put it aside but keep it close by and then place your right foot on the ground with your right knee up. Slowly hug your left knee in towards your chest for half wind relieving pose. You can keep your right knee up or lengthen out your right leg. Choose what works best for you. We're not going for a deep stretch or a lot of sensation, just a very gentle opening. Notice your back, especially your lower back imprinting in the ground. And imagine you're being held and supported. Stay here for about another minute. And then slowly, if your right leg was lengthened, you can bring it back in, so your right knee is up. Grab your strap, scarf or hand towel, and loop it around your left foot. Slowly begin to lengthen out your left leg, but keep a soft bend in your left knee. And then find a place that works best for you. Not too much of a stretch or sensation in your hamstring, your left hamstring. And also adjust your hands and elbows where you place your arms for support as you're holding your strap. And stay with your breath. Allow it to flow smooth and steadily.
Then begin to deepen your breath. And if you want, if you feel that your body's opening up slowly, you can lengthen out your right leg and continue to breathe. Find deep relaxation in this pose. Take one final deep breath. And then very slowly, bring your left leg over towards your right side, so cross it over. And you might feel, you might feel this in your IT band or your left side. Make sure that your left hip stays on the ground, so don't go too far. And then take your final deep breath, very slowly. Bring your left leg over towards the center, very mindfully. Remember, gravity is going to pull your left leg down. Gently bring it over towards your left side. Keep holding on to your strap and feel free to place a block underneath your left thigh. Stay here for about one minute. Stay focused on your breath. And allow yourself to relax more and more. Then slowly, deeper your breath. Prepare yourself to bring your left leg mindfully back to center. Go very slow. Bend your left knee and release a strap. So we're done with the strap. You can put it aside. And then take a moment in Shavasana. Just allow your body to take in all the benefits. Allow your body to completely relax. So lengthen out both legs. Heels are wider than your hips. Arms along your body with your palms facing up. Take a nice deep cleansing breath. And notice how your body feels. Notice your hips, your lower back, your hamstrings, and the rest of your body. And then very slowly roll over to your right side and from there gently push yourself up. The next pose is a variation on supported fish pose. We'll roll up the blanket or roll up your towel. And then mindfully lie down on your back. Place the rolled up towel or blanket underneath your upper back in between your shoulder blades. So take a moment here to choose how thick your rolled up towel or blanket is. You can also use a block, but we'll be in this position for a few minutes. So make sure that you soften the edges a little bit, that you're comfortable. Then once you're lying down on your back with the rolled up towel or blanket or block in between your shoulder blades under your upper back, take a moment to 
check how it feels, adjust wherever you need to. Then you can lengthen out your legs. You can also add a reclined butterfly pose by bringing your foot soles together and gently letting your knees fall out to the sides. And once again, use props for support. Since you'll be in this pose for a few minutes, you can place blocks underneath your thighs or, or knees. And if it's too much, just skip it. This is your practice. And then choose where you want to put your arms or hands. You can bring them out to the sides. You can bring your arms overhead. It could happen that when your arms are overhead that at some point it gets a little bit tingly or your arms or hands start to fall asleep. If that happens, just adjust yourself, bring your arms down. So take a moment to have a play around and get as comfortable as possible so that you really feel held in this pose. There's no strain, no deep stretch happening. We'll be here for two minutes. And I won't be talking as much anymore as you'll be entering a deeper, relaxed state, more of a meditative state. So just allow yourself to be in this pose. Surrender completely and imagine that you're being held. Then slowly begin to deepen your breath and prepare yourself to gently come out. If you had your knees open in butterfly position, slowly bring your knees towards each other. And then come onto your side. From there, Gently push yourself up. The next pose will be a side lying pose. We'll be using two props, so you can use two blocks or two firm cushions. One will be underneath the left side of your head by your left ear, and the other one will be underneath your left armpit, so not right away under your left armpit but more in line with your breast so we'll be really pushing up against your rib cage where your lats are 
and use a pillow or a cushion for in between your knees. So take a moment to prop yourself up and choose the right height of your props. So make sure that your neck is in line with your spine. There's no dropping down of your head. So there's no weight on your left shoulder. You're being supported by your props and you can rest your right arm on your right side body wherever is comfortable. Then hold it here for about a minute and a half. Just stay here. Let your breath flow. And allow yourself to feel supported. Surrender to that feeling of being supported and being held. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. And take your last few breaths. And then when you're ready, gently push yourself up and out. And you can just roll onto the other side. I'm just going to flip sides this way so you can see me. So this time there's a block underneath your right cheek by your right ear. And the other one by a right rib cage underneath your armpit. So not right below your armpit, there's a couple of inches in between. So find the spot that works best for you. Find the right height of your props. Also place a pillow in between your knees. Your knees are bent. And rest your left arm along your body or wherever is comfortable. Allow yourself to find stillness as you're being supported in this pose and let your breath flow naturally you can close your eyes or keep a soft steady gaze
take your last few breathing cycles here. Then deepen your breath. Slowly come out. We will finish in a child's pose. So use all the props that you have for support. Bring your big toes together. You can separate your knees or keep them together. You can place a cushion underneath your heels, in between your heels and your seat. Or you can place a block underneath your seat. You can place a pillow underneath your chest. A block works as well. And then you can place a block underneath your forehead, wherever you're supported, but make sure that there's space for you to breathe. And either hug your pillow, hug your prop, or lengthen your arms out in front of you. Take a moment here to settle in into your version of your child's pose. Let it be very nourishing and supportive. And allow your body to soften, get heavy, and feel relaxed. Slowly get ready to come out of your child's pose. Begin to deepen your breath. And then very gently press up onto your hands. And take a seated cross-legged position. And together we'll seal our practice. Bring your arms out to the sides with your palms facing up. As you breathe in, circle your arms up and gather all the love, light and positive energy. Exhale, let your palms kiss. Bring all that beautiful energy into your whole being. Bring your palms down in front of your heart in prayer position. Thank yourself for taking this time. For your yoga practice may be a blessing to you and thank you so much for joining me from my heart to yours good job yogi thank you so much for watching and for making it this far and showing up for your yoga practice i'm so proud of you i would love to give you my free blissful morning guide all you need to do is sign up with that first link below this video enter your first name and email and i'll send it to you right away also, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, like this video, share it with your family and friends, and let me know in the comments how it went for you. I look forward to seeing you soon again on the mat.